Capecast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Capecast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. The Sagamore Bridge looms behind me, and it also looms in the minds of Cape Codders who are trying to get on and off this peninsula. A lot of traffic, a lot of construction, a tough bridge right now. We're going to try to find ways to beat it. Here's the main thing, you're coming down Route 6, getting off Cape the Key, get off Route 6 before exit 2! Let's go to the close-up, the sandwich map, here come down Route 6, we say get off exit 3, it's Quaker Meeting House Road. You take a right, you head right down onto 6A, take a left, continue your journey towards destiny. So you made the smart move, you got off Route 6 before exit 2, now you're on 6A, here you come. You're rolling in toward the bridge here in the village of Sagamore, getting real close to the bridge. Unfortunately, this sign is not helping you. The main sign you need for the main split to either go to the Sagamore Bridge or the Bourne Bridge is obscured. At this of all times. And now, a Capecast editorial. Well, we don't take a lot of hard positions on this show, but you know, could someone please cut that tree limb? We need to see this sign. I mean, look, here it comes on your right. You can't see that. We need a superhero, a 6A, to step up on a ladder and clip that thing. Okay, we're on Route 6A in Sagamore, a proverbial fork in the road. This is it. 6A heads off to the left. Sandwich Road heads off to the right. The Irving gas station in the middle. That's your landmark. If you see Irving, you know it's time to make your decision. If you go to the left up 6A, you're about a mile away from the Sagamore Bridge. You're crossing over the Sagamore. If you stay to the right on Sandwich Road, you are headed underneath the Sagamore Bridge, maybe on your way to the Bourne Bridge. Hey, let's check the traffic at the foot of the Sagamore Bridge. Did the 6A solution work? Okay, if you come up 6A to the Sagamore Bridge, you can see you sort of come around on this off-ramp in front of the Christmas tree shop, and then you're merging in to the folks who unfortunately went Route 6 the whole way. You may have a little merging squeezy thing. It may take a little time to get on the bridge, but you're way better off going 6A than anybody who came Route 6. That's just what we hear. You know, we thought of actually crossing the Sagamore Bridge in our own car to bring you folks a real up-close video portrait of what it's like to go through the gauntlet of that bridge and that construction. But then we thought, what are we, nuts? We go over there, we might never get back. Cape Cast.